Hi, my name is Chukshu. My name is Bina. And I'm Manya. And today we're going to be talking about the steer case analysis. As stated by Mahatma Gandhi, the greatness of a nation can be judged by the way its animals are treated. SEER is an amazing organization that dedicates the time taking in exotic animals that have been abandoned. And through the use of our ideas, we would like to show the entirety of Canada and even the world to notice the effort SEER is making. We want to show everybody the greatness of our nation. As of what we're going to talk about in this presentation, first of all, we're talking about SEER and giving some background information. Secondly, we'll talk about our internal analysis. Three is key promotion strategies for our decision criteria. And fifth is our proposal, which includes the garden center, theme nights, and advertisement. And lastly, we'll be going over everything, which is a recap. So the Calgary Exotic Animal Rescue is a charity that strives to give all exotic animals a safe and healthy life, whether they're with us or with their pet owners. Sierra has been trying to adopt marketing strategies that can help them receive funds to pay for the upkeep of these animals for years. For a bit of reference, this upkeep per animal costs more than $7,000 per year, and Sierra homes over 100 animals. They have partnered with Encantus to hold a seasonal event called Rue and Friends Garden Center. This will be a weekly event thrown at Cobbs Park where individuals will get the chance to purchase animals, purchase plants, while also taking part in other attractions. Before we get started with our ideas, we wanted to do a SWOT analysis on SEER. Some of the strengths of this business are that they take in animals that have been abandoned, the variety of exotic animals that they have will lure people to visit the different events that we have planned out, and they have a great public image due to the fact that they um, are supporting such a respectable cause. The weakness is that they lack enough funds to take care of the animals, as mentioned in the previous slide. And some opportunities that are available for this business are that they can create partnerships to advocate and raise awareness for the abandoned exotic animals in Canada. And diverse animals equals another opportunity to showcase the diverse cultures of the world. Some threats that are present are like the lack of consumers that could be as a result of the number one threat, which is a zoo. And another one is that the fact that owners of exotic animals continue to abandon their pets or worse, euthanize them. So we can divide our promotion strategies into two categories. First is our main promotion, which will be based off of Rue and Friends Garden Center, as it is the key profitable product in our presentation. The second will be the secondary promotions, which are initiatives and events to attract customers. These will include theme nights that we will talk about later on. Our goals for this business is to hook in customers through different social events that are safe and let the customers experience the multiculturalism in Canada, maximize revenue and customer appreciation for the events that are hosted. For in terms of profits, an estimated 75% increase in profit is expected to come from live music. Charging two to three dollars for raffle tickets for pro portrait will be increased profits in an efficient way. And five dollar Polaroid pictures will create a vintage and aesthetic environment for customers. Our target market is uh, people that are age 16 to 30 year olds, but it, our events are open for anybody. Another area we will focus on is being a cute date spot for teenage to adult couples. So we want to use Air Plant Supply Co. to purchase the plants that we will be selling. The prices of these plants can range from $3 to $20, depending on the type and size of the plant. Along with that, they automatically apply a discount to wholesale purchases. Some of their discounts include 10% off for 90 plants purchased, 12% off for 197 plants purchased, 15% off for 393 plants purchased, and they are based in the U.S. and they can ship in to Canada into, in three to five day, business days. To incentivize youth to be a part of this project, we can use work credit, work experience, and volunteer hours to appeal to high school students. This would be taking a similar strategy from Zoo Youth, 
which offers high school students with no work experience internships over the summer. These life skills would be helpful to put on a resume and while applying to universities. We can also give them incentives like discounts on COBS entry and free entry to the volunteers. As highlighted previously, attracting the attention of an audience is our biggest goal. To accomplish this, one of our main ideas involves having weekly themed nights. There are many advantages to this low budget idea, which will help us draw attention to the crowd that we want to approach, and will also not require us to spend too much on advertising and the actual event itself. From personal experience, we know that theme nights can bring in many, many customers, as we have also attended many events on special days like Valentine's Day and etc. Our idea is to have cultural theme nights where cultural food, music, and ethnic animals that are part of the culture are showcased. These themes can help bring in many new customers and give something fresh and regular to normal customers. So these nights will be every will be every week for a month, and the elements of these events will be changing every week to make sure that people are always attracted to this location. We'll be having live musicians every week you know, that will be playing relative cultural music and will be performed. And these performances will be done by university majors, as we know it is expensive to get um, no, musicians to play a station. We will also like to implement a station for Polaroid pictures with any of the animals available that will be charged at five dollars per picture. As this is a date site, we can have coloring sheets of plants or animals and a space for them to write sweet notes, which can be hung up on a board outside the garden center. Raffle tickets, which are being sold at $2, will give the chance for individuals to win a free Polaroid picture and live painting with an animal of their choosing. The artist will also be a university student from universities like University of Calgary. We would like to offer food via vending machines or food trucks. These can be unique cultural foods or more accessible foods like cake or hamburger. We'd want to offer this in vegan and non-vegetarian options so that there's something for everyone. A cheaper way to sell food and to make the event unique as not a lot of people go and eat from vending machines or food trucks on a daily basis. During these theme nights, we want the customers to feel like they're going on an adventure. Each of these nights should be set up in a way that will allow customers to visit every attraction of the night in an efficient way that will be easy for the volunteers to handle. Kind of like a guided experience where as soon as the customers enter the event, they're told where to start off their night and then given a map with all the attractions and important times for events so that they can visit everything that intrigues them. This is a similar approach to Disneyland where there are maps so people can pan out how they're going to visit everything they're interested in seeing. We want people to remember these events as very memorable and something that they may want to visit more than once. And thus, we want to make we want them to take away a lot from this experience visually and physically. We want we want to strive to make the event as aesthetic as possible, but also want the customers to have physical representations of their time here, like Polaroid pictures, T-shirts and stickers. People love to have physical objects that represent good memories, and these three types of items can aid with that. Creating personalized t-shirts may seem expensive, but in reality, small scale bulk packaging is relatively cheap and with a profit margin of 75%, a lot of revenue can be incurred. The same thing can be applied to stickers. One of our first goals with this initiative is to get more people interested in this year organization without hurting the organization financially. The cheapest and easiest way to advertise would be putting up flyers to communities that are bound to be interested in our idea. QR codes are a great platform as that is being utilized with everything from schools to business cards. QR codes give you easy access to information that you would otherwise have to look up. Templates for these flyers can be found online and most are free or for a small sum. These costs are significantly less. Another vantage point to this is that people will have the curiosity factor, which will make the customers want to scan the code and in turn have a desire to look at the information presented in our website. These flyers can be placed in places that we know our preferred audience would be. These could include college areas and up, and up and coming town locations near downtown. To conclude, the use of QR code flyers will help us attract the attention and advertise the business in a way that would have cost much more otherwise. To recap everything that was said, we have two 
um, important promotional ideas. One is the garden center and the other is theme nights. We would use air plant supply to purchase our products in bulk for plants. And in terms of theme nights, we would include activities such as live music, painting, photo booths, vending machines, or food trucks. And for advertising, the main uh, way we would like to advertise is using cheap advertisement alternatives like QR code posters. Thank you.